I cannot believe that this man has won the MDT Battle Royal Championship. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. We are back with the MDT Monthly Battle Royal making its epic return on the last day of June 2022. Now, I do want to get this out because I do want a, I want it to be a monthly basis, man. I want this thing to be a monthly staple. You guys can see this is the complete filming area. So everything that I have in the backstage area for the filming area, I have to get rid of it, man. I completely clean it out for the monthly battle royal. I want this to become a monthly staple so at the end of the year we can go accumulate all the stats, all the eliminations, who won, the champions, the streaks, the all the different things, accumulate those, maybe make one big video about it, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see about that, but today we're back, man, we are back, and I probably need to go through the rule book a little bit more and tweak some things here and there, get some special additions in here, let me know some ideas down in the comment section below, man, but here we are with everybody, we got 50 men lined up, now this is actually 49, this is 7 rows of 7, if you guys were wondering, because the returning champ, the streak is at 2, I do believe for the MDT Battle Royal Champion who is going to be none other than Orange Cassidy who has just taken the strap not even strapped it to his back and he has carried the company on his back in these monthly battle royals now will he retain here today we do not know we will have to find out but we do have some epicness we have some first time features here in the MDT monthly battle royal we have Dominic Mysterio kid version not the adult version kid version making his first appearance here in the monthly battle royal we also have big ass Omos back there right here you see him how could you you miss it. We have some epic stuff going on, man. I can't wait to get into it. We got some epic figures in here. I'd love to see, you know, the MDT Battle Royal Championship on a ton of these figures. SummerSlam HBK, Ultimate Batista, Ultimate John Cena, Hulk Hogan, Kenny Omega. We got plenty of guys in here that I'd love to see walk away with the strap, but you know, I can't, I don't control it, Brad. It's all up to the competitors of the Monthly Battle Royal, so I'm just gonna shut the hell up and move on so that we can crown either a new champion or if Orange Cassidy is going to take his cool butt and, and retain. So before we get started, man, let's get into the rules of it. If you fall off the front of the table, this is a little short table. It's like a six, six, seven inch gap right here between the ring and the table, the table edge. If you fall off the front of the table and touch the ground in any capacity, if you're on top of something that doesn't count, but if you touch the ground in any capacity, arm, head, limb, doesn't matter, you are eliminated. If you touch the table, both feet must touch the ground. So if one foot's in the air, one foot's over here, you know, you're on top of somebody, you are completely safe. We're going to review each of elimination and take it through one by one so you guys don't miss any eliminations and we get it all on camera for you guys to to review yourselves i don't know how many monthly battle royals we've done it's been quite a few here on the channel so we're experienced at this and we're going to find out who the hell is going to walk out of here as mdt monthly battle royal champion i'd actually like to get do you guys like the og ship right here do you guys like this championship would you like me to change it let me know down in the comment section below i always love the colors nonetheless the champion does get a champion's advantage in which he does not get inserted until the second swipe so we are going to hit swipe number one see who survives insert the champion on swipe number two and then we will proceed so with that being said man let's dive into our first swipe and get this monthly battle royal started all right i want a good ass swipe i want to hit it like full fledged there's a bunch of lamps in my way so i i do have to you know finagle and and get around these but i think i can give us a pretty good swipe Look at Samoan Joseph over there. Ridiculous. So we did have some guys come off the front down here, but oh my god, they actually lived. Batista and John Cena survived. That's absolutely incredible. Both Ultimate Editions, both incredible superstars of their era surviving here in the monthly Battle Royal. Now let's find out about the rest of the pack. So unfortunately, it does look like Hulk Hogan did not make it, so Hulk Hogan will be eliminated. It also looks like Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley, also eliminated right there. We did have some, good lord at the camera. We did have some guys survive right here. It does look like Alistair Black, Tommaso Ciampa, Adam Cole all survive. Uh, it does look like Big E's eliminated. Omos already gone right there, as you guys can see. Brock Lesnar gone, multiple time champion. Daniel Bryan did survive though, but uh, unfortunately Brock is gone. It looks like Omos is gone. Big E is gone. Coming over here, it looks like HBK is gone. This is another rule that I forgot to mention. Kenny Omega is just one foot there. But one thing I forgot to mention is if you have pants on like 
HBK, Dean Ambrose, things of that nature. Pants cuffs, if bo both bottoms of your pants cuffs touch, you are eliminated because it gives you an extra height advantage. It prevents your feet from touching sometimes, so we do have to implement that rule there. HBK will be eliminated. Over here, does it like Dominic Mysterio riding the wave on the edge there. He will actually be safe. Probably helped him out being a smaller figure, but you know what, man? Little E won multiples of these things. You do have Burnt Fiend and Edge both eliminated. Good figures right there. They are gone. Uh, right here. It gets a little bit messy. Ric Flair safe. It looks like Sting is safe. Big E and Omos are gone. I'm pretty sure Kevin was touching. I'm a huge Kevin Owens fan, so I, if anything, I'd be rooting for him to stay in, but it does look like he was eliminated. Cedric Alexander also eliminated, unfortunately. It looks like Aiden English is safe. Mustafa Ali also gone. Actually, now that back foot's up. That back foot's up. Mustafa Ali safe. Bobby Lashley eliminated. Rey Mysterio safe. All these guys right here. It just gets convoluted. Jesus. It makes it very difficult, man. Bobby Lashley eliminated. Ricochet eliminated. Seth Rollins eliminated. Matt Hardy safe. Very, barely, though. Barely. MJF over there is eliminated. So we actually had a decent amount of eliminations, but Matt Hardy was not one of them. AJ Styles. Kane. Looks like John Morrison is eliminated over here. Hurricane gone. British Bulldog gone. Trash is safe. So these two guys are gone. John Morrison. Road Dog gone. Johnny safe. So safe, safe. These two guys did not make it. All these dudes over here say it looks like the rest may be safe. I think we're good the rest of the way. But let's round up who we got and find out who we have left. And I can't forget about Cena and Tista on the floor. All right, guys. 18 eliminations in the first round. Omos bit the dust. Hulk Hogan, Brock Lesnar. Lots of great guys in here, but they did not make the cut. Now we're moving on to swipe number two. We got a good lineup right here. Still lots of great champions remaining, but it is time to insert the champion and see what we got. All right, Brad, it is time to insert the champion, and you guys already know his, his hands will not leave his pockets. You guys know the, you, you guys get, the, you get, you get, the, you got it. All right, insert the champion there. Perfect. Time for swipe two. Let's see what we got. Plan on getting a better swipe than last time. I felt like I can get everybody out of the ring. That's the big, that's the goal usually with our swipes. I want to get everybody out of the ring. Nobody's safe out here, Brad. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That was, that was good. So nobody here fell off the front as I just need the damn lamp there, but Rey Mysterio seems to be out up front right there. He seems to be the most close, I guess. I guess outside of maybe Triple H over there. Johnny, football, basketball, baseball is eliminated, so that's two eliminations off the bat. Rey, Rey Mysterio, Ric Flair, and Matt Hardy both landing face front right there. They will both be gone. Ultimate Batista flying way out here, Brad, but one leg is up right there. Barely safe for Dave. Looks to be the only one not eliminated so far. It does look like Corbin, though. Trash Corbin. Look at it. Foot is off the ground, so he will be right in here. Triple H does seem to be eliminated. Him and Macho Man. Look at that right there. Both of these guys are gone. Ooh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy surviving right here, so he will be safe. It looks like Apollo and Aleister Black will both be making it to the next round right here here. My boy, John Cena. John Cena does not make the cut, but Dominic does, surviving yet again with his mini size. Hate to see that. Not hate to see that. You get what I'm saying. My boy is gone. The undeniable goat is gone. Cassidy hanging on, landing on top of the pack. AJ Styles did not, though. He is gone. It looks like Kenny Omega is gone. Looks to me like Undertaker and Ciampa are both gone. We do want to get Cassidy in the ring, but Ciampa is gone. Kenny is gone. It looks like Adam Cole is gone. Drew gone. Lots of face down members here. Undertaker's safe. I saw him safe, I think. I'll have to review the footage. I think he's safe, though. Over here, Sting. Left foot is... Oh, okay, his right foot's up, up off of the ground as well. They're both safe. Sting is good. What else are we working with over here? It looks like Cactus Jack's feet are actually off the ground. This ankle is off the ground. He will be safe. Mustafa Ali eliminated. Finn Balor is safe. God, it gets so convoluted. Dolph Ziggler's gone, my boy. We got a nice little stack of eliminations over here. I'm trying to sort through these bodies over here. Samoa Joe's safe. It looks like Shane is gone. Mustafa Ali's gone. Kane is safe. Joe is safe. 
safe, Aiden English safe, The Rock is safe, Daniel Bryan gone, Shinsuke gone, Kane safe. So, The Rock is safe, his foot is actually up off the ground. Shinsuke gone, Daniel Bryan gone. All right, guys, that round we had 17 eliminations, and we are down to the final 15, if you could believe it right there. Plenty of talent right here. Trash Corbin not included in said talent, but he's here. We got lots of great talent eliminated, but there are some key pieces here that could bring home the MDT Battle Royal Championship. Excited to see who will survive. Let's move on to the next swipe. All right, guys, here we go. Just told you. Dominic's in there. Orange Cassidy's in there. We got some ugly figs that I really don't want to win, but you know what, Brad? I don't control it. I do not control it. It's all about the favor. Who will win? Let's decide. There was a bug on my camera, and I tried to slap him. Anyways. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. So guys went flying all the way to the wall over here, and I regret to inform you, Finn Balor gone, Undertaker gone, Sting is gone, it looks like Apollo is gone, the camera will focus. The Rock is gone. Are we going to have anybody effing left? It looks like Aleister Black is gone. It looks like Cassius Jack is gone. It looks like Dominic, though. Oh, snap. Hold up. Let's get let's clear some stuff out. These guys are gone. I want to make sure that we get this correct. Samoa Joe has landed like that every damn time, I swear. Cactus gone. Joe was like this. Was he actually out? I could have swore he was up. I'll have to review footage again. Dominic is safe. We know that. Cassidy's... Right foot is off the ground here. Champion survives. Jeff Hardy is gone. Samoa Joe, I think, was safe. I want to say he was safe. We'll have to see. Now, one guy that I do see that's safe is going to be none other than Trash Corbin, but Aiden English's right foot is also up. Barely. Can you guys see this? I'll zoom in there so you guys can see it. Aiden English's right foot is up. So Corbin and Aiden English will be good. I don't think Kane's safe, but it looks like Batista. Batista looks to be eliminated. So, gotta save these guys. I know we have four. Do we have... Oh, no, we have five right here. We have five guys right here in the finale. Yeah, Kane is gone. Batista was very close, but I think he was ultimately eliminated. This is a very interesting final five. This is honestly... I, I don't know. We're, like, I'm worried. We have some people here. We're gonna have a wacky champion, man. We got some awesome stuff. I'll see you guys for the final swipe, but all these guys are eliminated. Kane, Jeff Hardy, Cactus, Batista, Apollo Crews, The Rock, Aleister Black, Undertaker, Finn Balor, and Sting all gone. Alright, guys, I got my phone slow-mo cam in it. I think this is gonna be the final swipe. We have our final five right here. You got Dominic Mysterio Kid version. You have Aiden English. Oh, God, the camera fell. The phone camera fell. I gotta set it back up. Hold up. I, I do not want it to miss this. You have Orange Cassidy, Trash Corbin, and Samoa Joe. Now, I am gonna slow play this. Now, the rules are different on the final swipe. I try to get this across every single time. I'm going to put my arm out straight like this. I'm going to tap it like this, barely, just hitting them slightly, where all of them get hit equally. They're all in a row. They all get hit by the arm at the same exact time. Whoever touches the ground last, whoever touches the table last, is going to be the winner. So it doesn't matter if your your back heel touches, your front toe touches, and it's only one. It does not matter. Whatever part of your body touches the ground last will be the winner. Whoever, if you're, like, say, like, it's it's going to be in, like, an order five to one who touches last. It's going to be somebody touches first, second, third, fourth, whoever that fifth person to touch finally is, is going to be the winner. So let's go ahead and roll it. I got my camera slow-moing the whole thing. Hopefully we can capture good footage so that we can review it, showcase the winner. Let's go ahead and hit it. Final swipe time, more than likely, unless somebody in the event of a tie where two people hit at the exact same time. I do believe it has happened, but let's find out. Will Orange Cassidy repeat yet again, or will we have a new champion? God, don't let Trash Corbin win this thing. Here we go. One, two, three... Here we go. Hold up. Hold up. I want to make sure that it's completely fair. All right. That looked very even to me. I have no idea. I have no idea what exactly took place right there. I tried to focus everything on everybody touching. Let's review the footage. I'll show it in slow-mo and very, you know, multiple different angles for you guys. Let's crown a champion. All right, well, my DA self, it didn't record everything in effing slow-mo. So look at the replay. How are you supposed to review this footage, Brad? How the hell do you review, uh, how, how the hell are you supposed to review this footage? How do you review that? Tell me how you review that.
It's way too fast. I'm going to have to play it in the, on the camera and then go into post and see because this is way too fast. Way too fast. It did not record in slow-mo. God dang it. I want this to be official. Damn. I cannot believe that this man has won the MDT Battle Royal Championship. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Trash Corbin has won the MDT Battle Royal Championship. I mean, this is a travesty. This is honestly a travesty. It's blasphemous to see this take place in the arena of MDT right here. Unbelievable. Trash Corbin wins, and it makes me sick. It just ruined my day, and now I must put up with this until the championship's put back on the line. Oh, my God in heaven, man. Are you kidding me? Nonetheless, man, let's get into our random shout-out before we get out of here. So this shout-out's gonna go to X Phantom underscore Lion X, who says, So I stopped collecting for a while in my mid to late teens into my early adulthood 20s, but recently, within the last year or two, I started collecting again. I get the complete sets, every figure in the set of every set that comes out, but I'm so behind on the current figures, pre-orders, and there are so many figures I missed out on while I stopped collecting, and it drives me crazy because I try to be a completionist. Should I stop collecting or keep going? I think that you should make your own rules, Brad. You gotta make your own rules and follow of those rules and you can always readdress your rules and goals at any moment you know don't be pressured into buying full sets just because buy the figures that you want to you know certain people have certain things that they want to accomplish or certain goals with their collection and that is fine as well but you don't want to lose yourself in the collecting you you don't want it to be where it's just like oh i'm buying everything and that's just it you know readdress your goals time to time readdress your readdress your goals every year and i think that would be the way to go man but huge shout out for the comment i like the questions like that try to give my honest opinion on it, man. I honestly don't recommend being a completionist in anything or any ongoing line, to be honest with you. I think if, you know, once you establish, like, there's a full collection out there, like, once Mattel Elites end, like, then you should maybe go after it, because then you know exactly what you gotta get, but it may be significantly more increased in price. It's just those rules that you gotta settle for yourself, man. You know, look within yourself, decide what you wanna do, and go for it. But huge shout-out for the, for the comment, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. I will see you guys next month for the MDT Battle Royal Championship in which it could get ugly. It could get ugly. We're going to find out what the hell happens, man. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed day. Be favored. And if you don't want that, then... You cross the line.